Okay, so for our final uh, Photoshop lesson that we'll learn, we're going to learn how to touch up and um, restore old photographs using F Adobe Photoshop. Uh, photo restoration and photo touch up is really more what Photoshop was developed for. Uh, above actually doing graphic design and doing page layout, um, Photoshop is intended to help photographers uh, remaster and retouch up all of their photographs that they have and to do it in a digital format. For this lesson, I'll need you to download the three files, the Family, Parents, and Touch Up JPEG from Moodle, and you can go ahead and put them into a folder called Photo Restoration. You can see I've already opened up the Parents JPEG, and this is what a typical old uh, photograph would look like. Probably you have some of your own. Uh, generally they'll have age spots, a lot of the lights and the darks are uh, have changed. The values on them have changed. The lights have gotten a lot darker, and uh, the darker areas may have lightened up over time. Sometimes the edges may be torn, or there may be an entire tear going across a photograph, or maybe a wrinkle has appeared. And so when you scan these in, all of this will show up onto your document. So we're going to learn some of the tools to help uh, remaster and retouch up your photograph and bring it back to life and give it that old pop that it used to have uh, when it was first new. All of the tools that we'll be using are located in the, in the middle section of your tools palette and uh, they're right above your brush tool. So if I click and hold, some of the tools we'll be using are the spot healing brush, the healing brush, and the patch tool. There's also the red eye tool, but we're not going to learn that one for this one. Mainly these top three we're also going to learn how to use the clone stamp, which is located just underneath your brush tool. It looks like a, um, a regular rubber stamp that you'll have. And finally, we'll <coughs> at the bottom, we'll be learning the dodge tool, the burn tool, and the sponge tool. And if you've ever done any traditional darkroom photography, you'll know that these are uh, tools that you would use uh, when making your own prints in the traditional darkroom sense. And those are located towards the very middle of your, your uh, toolbox <coughs> along the side. Additionally, there are some adjustments um, you can make. If you'll go up to the image menu in your menu bar and go down to adjustments, and these are some extra little adjustments that you can do to your photograph to uh, help enhance it and bring it back to life. These include the levels, the curves, you can adjust the exposure, you can also adjust the colors on them if you have a color photograph, the hue and the color balance, and various other different little things uh, from there. And so <coughs> uh, those are what we're going to be uh, working from. I will say that when you touch up a photograph, no two photographs are the same. It's really an art form. And so you may choose to use one type of uh, tool over another, and there's some tools are more appropriate than others. But really, it's whatever you feel best. I want to show you what some of these tools are going to do. And then from there, I'm going to let you, on your own, pick out which tool you think would be most appropriate to work from. And I'm going to show you what they do and uh, how you can get the best out of those tools.